Hello, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be testing my cohorted beauty box. This is April's one. And this one came a lot faster than my last one, so I'm happy about that. I actually got this about two or three days ago. And it's the, um, oh, there's a cat out my window. It's the 16th today, so I think I got it on the 14th or the 13th, so not too bad delivery time. But anyway, this box is super exciting. Just a quick, oh, for fuck's sake, it's falling everywhere. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the products individually rather than showing you the box because everything's just going to fall out. So the first one we've got is a um, Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask, an eye mask with fine lines, anti-aging. It's just a little um, packet here. So this is apparently worth £8 and apparently it says here that these clinically proven hydrogel eye masks are formulated to instantly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and I mean I guess I kind of have some like kind of lines under my eyes I don't know do I is it for the top of your eye though or is it for the underneath it I'm not sure really but um, I'm not going to try this in this video but I will try this at some point and I will write my thoughts in the description box another thing that we have is the Laura Geller baked cream glaze trio eyeshadow palette with brush and mine's the Sandy Lagoon one. And I believe there's like two different ones. Um, which you can kind of see in this booklet. I got the uh, one at the top with the blue colour in it. That is what that looks like inside. It looks really pretty. Um, when I swatched it, when I first got it, pretty damn pigmented. Pretty impressed. They feel really like smooth and velvety. So I'm excited to try this. The brush isn't that impressive, but whatever. <laughs> I've also got a Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Color, and mine's in the shade um, Audrey. I think there's like three different shades that you could get. So obviously everyone will get a different one. I really like the packaging of this. It's really cute. And mine is kind of like a nice rougey red color with a slight kind of rosy tone, which is really pretty. I really like this color. Can't wait to try that. Got a lot of Laura's. I also got a Nora, a Nor <laughs> I also got another Laura Geller product, and this is the Spackle Color Correcting Under Makeup Primer, and mine's a neutralizer, and it's kind of like a peachy color, which I think will be good because it's obviously just gonna like color correct your skin and kind of reduce any like weird tones you got going on. Um, the one in the picture is a bronze one, so maybe um. There are like different ones you can get. So I'm glad that I got a neutralizer rather than a bronze one. It's worth £25 and it says that it's an award winning primer and it creates a flawless canvas so makeup glides on and looks freshly applied for hours. Now supercharged with soothing botanicals and age fighting antioxidants that help promote elasticity and protect from free radicals. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, I like me a good primer, so I'm excited to try this. And the lipstick is worth £22, and the eyeshadow palette is worth £25. The last thing which I'm really excited about is a hair product, and this is the Percy and Reed, uh, what's it called? You Were My Goddess Shine and Fragrance Spray, and this is worth £22, and uh, it's just like, it's a hairspray, and it just makes it smell really nice, and... Uh, what does it say? It also gives it like shine and gloss, so that's exciting. I'm dying to try this in my hair. I just spray a bit of it on the back of my hand and it smells absolutely gorgeous. So, really excited and the packaging is like amazingly cute. That's everything in the box and now I'm going to be trying all of the products. I think the first thing that I'll uh, use actually is the hair product, I might as well. I've obviously brushed my hair but I've not actually styled it or done anything with it. I often don't bother. <laughs> okay, it says to shake well before use, hold the can 10 centimeters away and mist onto dry styled hair. Wait for 15 seconds before touching your hair. So you can't touch it for 15 seconds, okay. I'm literally just gonna shake this up then, spray it all over my hair. I won't touch it for 15 seconds, if that's so important. And then I'll kind of, you know, rustle it about a bit and see what we get. But um, yeah, let's do this. Oh my god, it smells to die for. OK, 
Okay, that's enough. I don't want to go too overboard. Right, so I'm not going to touch it for 15 seconds. Um, but, oh my god, it smells really nice. <laughs> it's kind of like flowery, rosy kind of smell, which I really like. Um, I like floral scents. Not for everyone, but I personally like it. It doesn't say what to do like afterwards, so I'm guessing you can just do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. But, oh my god. It has given it like a bit of texture and it does actually look kind of shiny in some areas. But oh my god, the smell is really powerful and like really nice. And like, hair fragrance are such a good idea. Like, that's just an amazing idea. And oh my god, it smells so good. I don't know if it looks that much different, I guess it has got a bit more like kind of texture and shine but I think the main kind of appeal of it is the smell more so than like the styling properties. I'm gonna leave my hair alone now and I'm gonna move on to the makeup products. First thing that I'm gonna use is the little eyeshadow palette. I have done a concealer and a powder base on my eyes before filming so um, I'm just gonna use all of the colours really because I want to kind of try all of it. Obviously it's gonna be a bit of a weird eyeshadow look with like a blue and then some kind of bronzy colours but we're just gonna go with it. I think I'll start by getting the silver colour in the middle and I'll just get this blendy brush and run this through my crease. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing with this eyeshadow look but we're just gonna go for it. That is beautiful. Uh, right, so next I'm gonna go with this very daring blue colour. And I'm just gonna get my finger and pat that onto the kind of underneath area, like the base of my eyelid. I need to learn like the friggin' terminology for eyelids because I never know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna get my finger and, oh my god, that is, that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna, oh my god, pack this on. That is amazing. I do have a bit of fallout, but I don't really care about fallout. I know some people do, but I never really care about it because I just think just wipe it off. It's not that big a deal. But um, that is beautiful, amazing pigment, and it's really like glimmery as well, which is cute. All right, next I'm gonna get the um, the brownie kind of shimmery color at the end, and I'm just gonna pat that into the outer third. Again, this is a really random eyeshadow look, but obviously I've got a limited colour selection here, so... Really impressed with that eyeshadow palette. Um, I need to clean up this fallout under my eyes. But obviously it's kind of a weird eyeshadow look, I know, but... The bloody eyeshadows themselves are pretty damn good. I'm really impressed with them. I think this is a really cute palette. Uh, I will get a lot of use out of those colours. Uh, I don't necessarily know if they work together, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad, does it? But um, yeah, I'm really impressed with that eyeshadow palette. I'm now going to do my mascara, my eyeliner, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, so next I'm going to try the um, Spackle Colour Correcting Under Makeup Primer Neutralizer. And it just does apply a thin layer over a clean, moisturised face. My face is pretty clean and moisturised. Uh, da, 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 da. Wear under foundation for perfect makeup application or use alone for a flawless looking complexion. Oh, so does it actually give you any coverage? Don't know, but um, I'm just gonna smother this all into my face really. It does kind of like um, absorb into your skin, which is good, and it doesn't leave like an orange tint or anything like that. Um, it feels pretty soft and silky, and it's pretty good. It's kind of hard to really comment on the primer because it just it just kind of goes into your skin and it doesn't really look like much, so it's kind of really hard to say whether it's good or not, but it feels nice. Alright, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation, concealer, powder, eyebrows, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that kind of thing. And then I'll try the final product, which is a lipstick. And I'll see if um, this primer has made any difference to like my foundation application or anything. Uh, next I'm gonna try the lipstick. This is the last product I'm gonna try. And let's just go in for this. 
Oh my god. This is quite bright. <laughs> That's a pretty colour. That's a very like summery colour. It's nice. It just feels a little bit glossy, so this might be the kind of thing that you want to put some like powder on top of, just to mattify. Um, it does feel a bit glossy, so I think I will just tap some powder on top of it. But it's a really pretty colour and it feels really smooth and it glides on very nicely and I really like it. I'm gonna pack a bit of powder onto it though. Bit of an intense colour though, I mean I'm going to work after this so my makeup's a bit intense for work but <laughs> oh well. Okay so that's pretty much my makeup finished, um, obviously I didn't try the eye mask because it doesn't really work when you're filming your makeup to film an eye mask but um, uh, everything that I did try I am pretty happy with. This hair fragrance is lovely, the eyeshadows are amazing. The yeah, uh, lipstick I really like and the primer is pretty good too. Obviously I don't know if this is going to make my makeup last longer. My foundation went on pretty nice on top of it but nothing really special to comment on. Um, yeah I guess we'll just have to see if it makes my makeup last any longer but um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this month's cohorted box. I'm pretty impressed with the products that I received. And I can't wait for next month's one. That's pretty much it for this video then. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.